and this is a, a point uh, that, that you would need to know, is that the older treatment that many, many water treatment facilities were using through, throughout the country had been failing. Many, many treatment facilities throughout the country had known it had been failing. Um, Nork was aware of it. They tried changing the chemical concoction. It wasn't really working. Serious interactions with lead can lead to symptoms such as vomiting, dizziness, and even seizures. It is especially prominent in children, and those who deal with lead poisoning can often suffer developmental delays and brain damage. In order to prevent lead poisoning in our community, the Bevel Robotics team brainstormed ideas to tackle the lead crisis. Initially, we had three ideas, a pipe overlay system, an aqua blot, and a cup color. However, after talking to a civil engineer and environmental scientist, Dr. Rowe, we realized that the pipe overlay was not financially feasible and that the aqua box was only made to take out toxins, not metals, and our cup of color, just there wasn't an element that would be able to be non-hazardous and take lead out of water. So we developed an app called The New View. By keeping in mind the dimensions of the phone, a box was designed to make a dark field that allows any fluorescent lights to shine as bright as possible. Our invention was created using Tinkercad, a free online 3D modeling program. The printing process took about 17 hours. We developed an app using Android Source to help users identify lead ions in water. The new view idea was made possible through the use of innovative fluorescent smartphone technology. By the placement of the smartphone in a dark field enclosure, it will observe the water samples covered in the chromium. The chromium will be used to make the lead fluoresce. It is necessary for the camera display to be turned off and in selfie mode. Using a built-in timer included in the app, the phone will take a picture and in real time approximate the lead concentration in the water samples using the green display on the phone. In this demonstration, we are using a glass slide to mimic a positive lead concentration in water. The glass slide would contain a sample of water being tested along with chromate, a chemical which allows us to see the lead in the sample. We then place a Note 10 on the box and position it so that we can see the sample. After, we close the box to isolate any other light from entering the sample. The app will capture an image of the sample, which can be analyzed to find the concentration of lead. In the future, we hope to include citizen science as part of our project. We would like to make an open domain map for the public so that its ease of use and data can be shared with everyone around the world.